Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. I'm here today to share with you my plans for my reading month of March. Try not to call them TBRs anymore because let's just face it, I really suck at sticking to my TBRs. So here's what I think I'm going to read in March, but you know, you'll have to wait and see what my wrap up says to see what actually happens, right? First off, I will start with what I'm currently reading. Right now I am devouring The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. I am... Oh my gosh, I'm loving, loving this book. I have no problem. This will be finished in no time. Um, I'm reading this along with a few of my friends from book club as a read along. We are taking four weeks to really digest and discuss this entire book. This follows the Albright family who moves to Alaska to kind of escape the trials of PTSD after their um, earned the husband comes back from Vietnam. Now, this was back in the days before PTSD was really acknowledged or identified as something that someone suffers from and so there's really no help for him. They're hoping that going to Alaska living off the grid will give them the peace that he really is looking for. But winters in Alaska are long and tough and really hard and it's really not gonna work out all that great. So I have actually cheated a little bit and I'm kind of a week ahead but in my defense I just couldn't put it down. So. I'm taking a little bit of a break. We're gonna let the rest of the group catch up and I will let you know. I, right now, this is easily five stars. It's a fantastic book, I love it. So then we'll get to the next kind of pile of books. Um, the next one I plan on reading in the month of March is Jane Steele by Lindsay Fay. Um, this follows Jane Steele. Basically what caught me right away is at the beginning or on the book flap, it says, reader, I murdered him. So it begins. The story of Jane Steele. I don't really have to read anymore just to know I've heard really great things about this book. I'm gonna love it and I would love to have a chance to do a read along with Krista so looking forward to that one. The next few books on my list are for sure books that I'm going to be taking on our family vacation this month. We are going to head to sunny Florida and get out of the cold grips of winter up here in Wisconsin and enjoy some sunshine and some 80s and a pool and a beach and it's going to be fantastic. So the first book I'm going to take with me for sure is Castaways. This is by Jessica Fleck. This is a YA book that follows a group of kids who go into a corn maze. Um, sometimes some of the kids that go into the maze go missing. They're actually transported to an island and a number of kids over a number of decades have been transported to the same island and so you get a little bit of a blast from a past with some of them and they have to try to get off or survive or I don't even know. I don't care. It's the cover really. Look at how beautiful that is. It feels very summery and vacation-y. The next book I have to I have to read on vacation because right when we get back from it we're having book club so I gotta get through The Hating Game. This is by Sally Thorne. This follows two characters who work with each other. We have Lucy and Josh and Lucy and Josh purely despise and hate and like loathe each other and they both are going up for the same promotion and so they have to figure something out um, it sounds like there's some hate to love that goes on in this book or is maybe that just another part of the game and the plan I don't know we're gonna we're gonna read it um, so far a few of my book club members um, one of them it's she's like it's okay and the other two are like totally enjoying it so I'm gonna definitely get that one done the other two, the next one on my list, I honestly just cannot wait to pick up. I literally just bought it like a week ago and it's already making its appearance on my TBR. So this is Before We Were Yours by Lisa Wingate. This follows the true story of an orphanage, I believe it was in Tennessee, and the owner of the orphanage would steal children and sell them to wealthy people. So this follows the story of two girls who were taken from their home and I don't know what happens to them but I really want to find out. I love historical fictions that take an actual event and base kind of their own story or take their own take to it. So I'm really, really excited to read this book. The next one on my list has just been on there a while. And again, I'm seeing it pop up again and I'm hearing people really like it. So I'm going to definitely give this one a whirl. This is called Elizabeth is Missing by Emma Haley. This is the story about a woman who is suffering from Alzheimer's or dementia or something and kind of follows her take on it. Um, she has this feeling that her friend Elizabeth is missing and yet it's known that she has this disease and so it's who does she get to believe her 
is it really true or is this something her mind is doing to her? I'm not sure. It just sounds really great and I've heard great things about it. And it's relatively short and can easily be put into my beach bag while I'm on vacation. Um, the next few I picked up, they're just kind of placeholders because I just bought them and I really am excited about them, so I'm not sure if I'll get to them or not, but we have Friends and Other Liars by Kayla Coble. This one follows, um, I guess it starts out with the funeral of one of the, this group of friends, one of them dies, and you kind of hear his perspective basically saying he's watching over his funeral and seeing these friends come in and basically saying they're all liars they all have secrets and basically the letters i've left behind after my death it's going to reveal everything so sounds very intriguing and then another just really good light read chiclet type read that i'm gonna, probably going to take with me on vacation is chose the wrong guy gave him the wrong finger by beth harbison um this sounds like again just an easy read it follows a character named Quinn who on her wedding day decides to ditch her groom and run off with his brother. It didn't take her long to realize that wasn't a bad idea so she leaves her brother the brother behind as well and fast forward a few years she's kind of making her life for herself in this town and the brothers show up. So interesting to see what this is. Again nice little beachy read. I have another pile of books that I potentially will get to in February or er, in March. Um, Def, right now I only have I think three books slated to come on vacation with me maybe four I know I'll probably get through a little bit more than that I do quite a bit of reading while we are gone even though it's family vacation and we are out doing stuff it's just I somehow can just speed read through books while we're gone so I did upload a um, vacation video not that long ago so if you see any books on there that you think would be great for me to take with me comment below I'll leave a link to that in, the, in this video as well so that's my stack of books for the month of March. It's pretty big compared to February. February only got like four books read, which it is what it is. But um, we, like I said before, we are going on vacation and I tend to read a little bit more when we are gone, um, you know, sitting by the poolside or by the beach or just general relaxation. I should be able to get through more books. Um, let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them in the comments below. Otherwise, I will check in with you next time. Bye.